Hello guys, welcome back to Algots. In this video, we are going to discuss a question named the celebrity problem. This question has been drawn from the platform Geeks for Geeks. You can refer to the question in the description below. Now I am going to discuss the question, what exactly the question says in brief. Uh, there are n people present in the party and a constraint is given that every person knows at most one person inside this party and we need to find if any celebrity is present inside this party. Now first of all we need to know who is a celebrity. A celebrity is a person which is known to every other person present in the party. So there must be n minus 1 persons who should know this person. Now second constraint would be that this person should know nobody inside this party. So we need to return minus 1 if there is no celebrity present inside this party and if any celebrity is present then we have to return its id and we have to do this using minimum number of questions so what do you mean by a question a question means that if we can ask whether a person x knows a person y or not so we can ask whether x knows y or not so we need to ask minimum number of questions and we have to determine whether a celebrity is present in this in this party or not so we don't need to bother the number of questions here actually it just means that we need to optimize our solution so let us come come to the sample cases now in the first case we have been given a matrix now every cell i comma j represents whether person i knows person j or not so every cell of this matrix gives us the info whether person i knows person j or not so for this case we know that person 0 knows person 2 person 1 also knows person 2 person 3 also knows person 2 person 4 also knows person 2 so each of the each of the person present inside the party knows person 2 we don't need to consider for the person 2 or the person which we are considering as a celebrity so our first condition was that every person should know the celebrity so here two is being known to everyone and the second constraint was that two should know no one in the party so the second constraint is also satisfied as two knows no one inside this party so from this case we can clearly see that two is our celebrity now moving on to the second case now in the second case everything is similar except this case whether in which the second person knows the person with id1 so a first condition is still satisfied as all the persons know person 2 but the second condition was that this celebrity which we have selected should know no other person but two knows a person named with id1 so two cannot be a celebrity for this case and thus we have to return minus one as there is no celebrity present in this party so let us discuss the first approach which we can apply to solve this question Now the first approach says that this matrix can be considered similar to adjacency matrix and we can count the in degree and out degree for every person and we can check whether the in degree of some person is equal to n minus 1 and the out degree is equal to 0. If that is the case then we are going to return the id of that person as it would be a celebrity. So let's apply this algorithm on this matrix so 
I'm going to construct a array to store in degree and the out degree. So you can use pairs or you can construct two different arrays. Now I'm going to count the in degree and out degree for all the persons. So first of all, I am going to iterate on every row and it's every column. So for person 0, I am going to iterate on this row and I am going to check whether any person is present who which is known to 0. So 0 knows person 2. So initially I have kept the in degrees and out degrees as 0. Now 0 knows person 2 so I am going to increase its out degree to 1 and increase the in degree of 2 by 1. Now moving on to the next row. Person 1 knows person 2 so again I am going to increase the in degree of person 2 and increase the out degree of person 1. Now moving on to the next row. Person 2 knows no one so I am going to move on to the next row. Now person 3 knows person 2. So I am going to, sorry, I am going to increment the out degree of person 3 and in degree of person 2. Now I am moving on to the last person. Person 4 knows person 2. So the in degree of person 2 becomes equal to 4 and out degree becomes equal to 1. So from this array we can clearly see that person 2 has in degree equals to 4 that is equals to n minus 1 as n is 5 in this case and the out degree is equal to 0 that means the person 2 knows no one inside this party so 2 would be our celebrity now for the second case we are going to apply the similar algorithm and both the cases are almost similar except the fact that in this row we have person 2 and knows person 1. So I am going to increase the in degree of 1 and out degree of person 2 from 0 to 1. Rest all is same. So everything is same for this case except these two these two uh, these two positions in array would differ so for this case person 2 has in degree equals to n minus 1 but its out degree is greater than 0 so it cannot be our celebrity so we are going to return minus 1 as there is no possibility of having a celebrity inside this party so this is our first approach now let's discuss the time complexity for this approach uh, we are going to iterate on every for every row uh, we are going to iterate on every column present in that matrix so that would take n into n iterations and thus our time complexity would be order of o of n square so we need to minimize our time complexity in this question that's the main aim so let's discuss the second approach which we can use now moving on to second approach i am going to use two pointer approach to solve this question in a much better time complexity so uh, so we have to use two pointers here so clearly all the persons are present and i am going to place my two pointers one at start and other at the end and I am going to iterate until my start pointer reaches the end pointer or any other condition is not satisfied so we are going to see to it so intuition of this approach is that if a person x knows a person y then it is sure that x cannot be a celebrity now why I am saying that because we know that the out degree of the of the celebrity cannot be greater than 0. So here the out degree becomes 
equals to 1. So x cannot be a celebrity. And the next case would be when x doesn't know why. Now for this case, our person y cannot be a celebrity. Now this condition is uh, true, uh, not true because in degree of y becomes less than n minus 1. So our first condition fails. So y cannot be a celebrity in this case. So what are we going to to solve this question is we are going to use this approach. We are going to compare the person present at start and end and we are going to check whether a person at start knows person at end or not. And accordingly, we are going to increment the value of start pointer or decrement the value of end pointer. So if we find that start knows end, then I am going to increment the value of start pointer as I am sure of the fact that the person present at start cannot be a celebrity. Now the else case would be that star doesn't know end. So in that case, end cannot be a celebrity. So I'm going to decrement the value of end pointer. Now I'm going to do this until the value of start becomes equals to end. And the value left at the end of the, in these iterations can be a possible choice for a celebrity. So let's apply this algorithm on these two matrices. Now for the first case, I have start at 0 and end at 4. That is the last person. I check whether 0 knows 4 or not. 0 doesn't know 4. So I am going to decrement the value of end. Now 0 doesn't know 3. Again I am going to decrement the value of end. Now in this case, 0 knows the person with id2. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to increment the value of start iterator or pointer. Now in this case, 1 knows person with id2. So again, I'm going to increment the value of start pointer. Now both the pointer start and end are at the same location. So this can be a candidate of our of being a celebrity. Now, why I'm saying that it can be candidate, I am going to discuss this in next example. So we are going to apply same algorithm here as well. Now, start is pre present at zero and end is present at four. Now we check whether zero knows four or not. Zero doesn't know four. So I am going to decrement the value of end iterator. iterator. And now I move on to 3. Now 0 doesn't know 3. So again, I have to decrement the value of end, end pointer. Now 0 knows 2 as the value present at 0, 2 is 1. So I have to increment the value of start iterator. Now person 1 knows person 2. So again, I have to increment the value of start iterator. Now both start and end point towards person 2. So here person 2 can be a possible candidate for being a celebrity. But in both the cases, there's a difference that in the first case, the person 2 doesn't know any other person inside the party as all the values are equal to 0. In the second case, person 2 knows person 1. So this cannot um, this cannot be a uh, possibility for 2 being a celebrity. So we have to return minus 1 for the second case. And for the first case, we have to return 2. Now for checking whether the element which we have selected at the end when start and end, end pointers um, are equal, we have to apply another loop in which we check whether the person 2 is known to every other person present inside this party and person 2 knows none of them. So 
let's discuss the time complexity now n iterations would be done to find the suitable candidate for being a celebrity and then n more iterations would be done to check whether the selected candidate is a celebrity or not so this makes our time complexity of the order of o of n and space complexity is of the order of o of 1 as we have not used any new array to store information so this is a quite optimized approach to solve this question i hope you have learned some new concept out of this video thank you guys for watching this video and don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel algots stay tuned for the upcoming videos